At the Iranian request, the Russian Emergency Ministry, together with the Armenian Emergency Ministry, have started delivering humanitarian aid to Iranian victims of large-scale floods. The cargo included tents, blankets, and folding beds, over 4,000 items of material resources purchased at the Russian expense in the replenished humanitarian reserve of the Russian Armenian Center. A protest was staged Monday at the courtyard of the Armenian National Assembly. The participants were demonstrating against the transgender person's recent address in Parliament. During past week's parliamentary hearings on human rights, a transgender person delivered a speech from the National Assembly podium. Subsequently, the moderator of these hearings, prosperous Armenia Party MP Naira Zohrabian, got mad and asked this transgender person to leave the National Assembly sessions hall. The Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, PACE, on Monday launched its spring session, which will conclude on Friday. This session will stand out with the address by Armenian Prime Minister on Thursday. Also at PACE, Nikol Pashinyan will have meetings with Secretary General of the Council of Europe, Thorborn Yagland, PACE President Lilian Mori Pasquier, and President of the Venice Commission, Gianni Buciccio. Pashinyan will also officially open the exhibition entitled The Velvet Revolution in Armenia at the vestibule of the Assembly. Capital City Yerevan Court of General Jurisdiction on Monday morning granted the State Revenue Committee of Armenia's petition and ruled that Spica Company Director David Ghazaryan be remanded in custody for two months into non-payment of large amount of taxes. As per the respective State Revenue Committee statement, Spica Company has not paid Armenian drums equivalent to approximately $40,468,090 in customs duties and taxes to the state budget. In protest, a group of employees from Spica Company had closed off Dikran Metz Avenue in Yerevan across the Yerevan Court of General Jurisdiction. The Armenian Parliament on Monday voted in favor of the bill on making amendments to the law on public holidays and memorable days in the first reading. A total of 92 parliamentarians voted for this bill on Citizens' Day. Citizens' Day, which aims to stress the meaning of the Armenian Velvet Revolution, shall be marked on the last Saturday of April. The Armenian Committee of Boston has donated $150,000 to the City of Smiles Foundation to help treat young cancer patients in Armenia. Armenian Prime Minister's wife, Anna Hagopian, who is on a working visit to the United States, was warmly received by the Armenian Community of Boston. In wealthy and developed countries, cancer is just a disease. But in many less developed countries, it is equal to a death sentence, she said in particular.